Well, we're going to be here for a little while here. And again, this is for anybody who wants just kind of an initial prayer tonight. But before we, we do that, we're just going to stand and we're going to pray. Um, we're going to break generational curses. Tonight. Now, if you've already done this, then you don't need to worry about it. You don't have to pray along with us. But I, I feel like we're supposed to address just corporately, especially the Freemasonry issue. Um, I've even had some people telling me even coming in this morning, they're finding out about Freemasonry and stuff like that in their family. So just like we did at Skyfall 2019, uh, we're going to stand up and we're going to just all kind of pray. And I'm going to pray for you in general about this. Uh, there's a, <laughs> we got a runaway back there taking off. All right. Because there, there's a, there was a minister during the Argentine revival. You know, the, the revival in Argentina lasted for about 15, 20 years. It was powerful, but it was mainly two guys. A guy named Carlos Anacondia was an evangelist, a businessman turned evangelist, and then a pastor by the name of Claudio Fritzon. I actually got to meet these guys. They actually prayed for me many years ago. Um, but... One of the things that they would have these big meetings and God had to, God had to save a man that didn't have a, a religious background. And he saved this man named Carlos Anaconda and then set him free from demons. And then he just realized that he needed to go out and preach the gospel. God called him to be an evangelist. So he would have these big tent revivals in Argentina, but he had two tents. He had the tent they did the main meeting in. And that at the end of every big service he had, after he led people to the Lord and all that, he would, he would pray, he would bind the devil, and he would command the devil to go from people. People would start, you know, kind of manifesting some here, some there, dropping, hitting the floor. So he had people carry him to the tent that he had behind the main tent called the deliverance tent. Now, let me say this. I don't think we're going to have anything that dramatic. Most of the time we don't. We didn't in 2019. But the testimonies after we prayed those prayers in 2019 with everybody, everybody prayed those things, uh, the testimonies were amazing of changes that started happening. Now, I'm going to say this as clear as I can. Today is a beginning for some of you. Some of you have already done some. Some of you, maybe this all new to you and you just found this out today. Like I said, even with me, the prayer team, not it, we're not going to be able to cover everything in your life today. All right? We wish we could. That's impossible. We can't do it. But that list there, you make that list and you learn from tonight how we pray over you, binding these demons, commanding them to leave, and getting forceful about it. Doing it with authority, like you mean business. And so what we're going to do is after we do this corporate prayer here over everybody, if you want specific prayer, I want you all to come down and stand right down through here. Now, I'm going to try to pray for everybody I possibly can, but what we need you to tell you, the, the prayer team person, whether it's me or somebody else, is just give us an idea of the main thing that you want prayer for and that you're struggling with, and um, and we're going to turn the music up so not everybody can hear what we're praying about, all right? Because it's nobody else's business. But um, I'm going to pray specifically over some areas. We just want you to get started. Remember, I, what I love about the story with both Brent Eakin and with Mary Lou and Ted is they they just started. They took a step of faith. They started in that direction, and God proved to them, yes, this is going to change your life. And, and so today is a start in that direction for you, I hope, that you go and then, and then you walk it out and complete it until you know it's complete, all right? So let's do this. Let's just bow our heads for a minute here, and I want to pray over you. Father, I thank you for all these people. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your people. Lord, that love you, that are born again and washed in the blood of Jesus. But Lord, we've learned today and we know what your word says that even believers can give place to the devil. We can open the door. We can rebel. We can become prodigals. We can go live in the world and live a lifestyle of sin and evil. 
And Lord, we open the door for demonic strongholds to come into our lives. And Lord, we know that these generational curses can come upon our lives from witchcraft and Satanism and Freemasonry and different things, even sexual immorality in the, our forefathers, Lord, can just be passed down. And so, Lord, today we're going to break these generational curses off of each and every one here, Lord. Father, we, some, we can't know everything that our ancestors opened the door to, but, Lord, we can just pray over them in general. So, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, over every person here, young and old and in between, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, and we thank you that the blood of Jesus was shed to break every curse, to deal with every sin, and to give us power against every demon. And Lord, Father, over every person in this room, right now in the name of Jesus, I break the generational curses that are upon them, the generational sins committed by their fathers, even to the third and the fourth generation. In Jesus' name, right now, Lord, we break the generational curses of sexual sin and immorality in Jesus' name. We break the generational curses right now of homosexuality, incest. We break the generational curses right now of adultery and fornication. We break the generational curses of pedophilia. We break the generational curses of whoredoms and lust and perversion. I break the generational curses off of your people today in this place right now in Jesus' name, Father. We break those generational curses and we bind the demons that came in from those generational curses. We bind these spirits of whoredoms. We bind these spirits of lust and perversion. We bind these spirits of homosexuality. We bind the spirits of pedophilia. We bind the spirits of incest. We bind you demons right now of lust and fornication and adultery. You go from them in Jesus' name. You demons that came in from generational sin, go now from every man, woman, boy, and girl in this place. Leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go from them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it with me right now. Everybody say in the name of Jesus Christ. I break these generational curses from sins of my fathers and mothers. I break the generational curses of sexual sin, lust, pornography, adultery, homosexuality, transgenderism, incest, pedophilia. We break these generational curses in Jesus' name. We bind the demons that came from my forefathers unto me. We bind you. We rebuke you and command you to go now. Go from me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now, say this with me. In Jesus' name. I break the generational curses from the sins of my fathers with Freemasonry, witchcraft, divination, familiar spirits. Lord, in Jesus' name, I break these curses. I break these sins off of me. I bind the demons that came in through the generational sins of Freemasonry. I break their curses, their oaths, their rituals. I break it off of me in Jesus. And I bind the demons that came in from it. And I command you to go. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, say this. In Jesus' name. I break the generational curses. Right now. Of infirmity. The spirit of infirmity. That I inherited from my forefathers. Right now, in Jesus' name, I bind you. I break your power. I tear down your strongholds out of me. Spirit of infirmity, go from me. Now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, right now. I pray over childhood abuse, trauma, whether in their memory or not in their memory. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I break that off of them right now. I bind the spirits right now of sexual molestation, rape, violence that was done to them in a sexual manner. Lord, I break that generational curse. I break that sin if it was done to them directly. I bind the demons right now of molestation. I bind the spirits of rape. I bind the spirits right now of pedophilia. I bind those demons that came in. I rebuke them and I command them to go right now. Go in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. Lord, I ask right now, God, for your healing power to begin to flow, Lord. And those who have been traumatized, wounded, God, let your healing power, you came to heal the brokenhearted. You came to set at liberty them that have been bruised, traumatized, broken in pieces. Lord, I pray, God, that the healing flow, that there's no shame, no guilt, no shame about what happened as a child. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus washes all that away. The name of Jesus, Lord, begins that healing process. So, Lord, I begin to I pray that any any woman that's been raped, God, any sexual abuse as a child, any physical abuse, any psychological abuse, Lord, we pray any damage done, spirit, soul, and body from sexual, mental, emotional, physical abuse, Lord, that you begin to heal right now. Lord, begin to heal people right now, Lord. Because I know, I know it's hard to even talk about it. It's hard to even bring it up. But Lord, by your stripes, we were healed. By your shed blood on the cross, by the blood you shed in Gethsemane, from your brow, the blood you shed when they beat you and ripped your beard out, when they whipped you upon your back. Lord, all of that was to pay for our sins and for our healing and for our freedom. And so, Lord, I pray that healing and freedom flow. Right now, Lord, we rebuke diseases. Lord, we rebuke arthritis. In Jesus' name, we command it to go. We bind these spirits of arthritis right now. We bind spirits of infirmity. We bind spirits of autoimmune disease. We bind you demons in Jesus' name. We bind spirits right now of diabetes. We bind you in Jesus' name. We bind spirits of cancer. We bind spirits of asthma. We bind you spirits right now of sickness and infirmity. You go from them in Jesus' name. Loose them and leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, you name, if you have a disease or a sickness i want you to name it out loud bind the demon spirit of it and command it to go from you in jesus name i want you to do that out loud go ahead get loud with it get loud with it yes these spirits of infirmity jesus name spirits of infirmity sickness disease we bind you rebuke you and command you to go from us in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Healer, deliverer. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we take authority in, in your name as believers against these spirits. We bind them, we rebuke them, and we resist them in Jesus' name. And I feel strongly this one too, the spirit of heaviness and depression and suicide. Let's pray against that right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I bind the spirits of heaviness, depression, suicide. We bind you right now. Sorrow and despair. We bind the spirits of heaviness, depression, suicide, sorrow, despair. We bind you in Jesus' name. We break your power in Jesus' name. We tear down your strongholds off of every person in here. We command you spirits of infirmity, you spirits of heaviness, sorrow. You command you to go in Jesus' name. Suicide demons, go in Jesus' name. Jesus name in Jesus name right now we bind these false spirits of guilt and condemnation I bind spirits of guilt and condemnation we bind you and rebuke you and command you to go in Jesus name right now in Jesus name and one more big one I see before we pray individually pornography pornography right now in the name of Jesus or we know that it's everywhere it's everywhere it's on normal TV now. It's on in movies. It's in everywhere. Father, we just come right now and pray that this stronghold be broken. Some of it, Lord, we know some of that strongholds from sexual abuse in the past. Some of it's because of our sexual promiscuity in the past. And it's a stronghold in many. So, Lord, we come right now in the name of Jesus. And we just ask you, first of all, to wash the sins away of the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and voyeurism and pornography and looking upon nakedness. Lord, we ask you to forgive those sins, to wash them away by the blood of Jesus, by the blood you shed on that cross, Lord. Wash the sins away. But Lord, right now in Jesus' name, where this has become an addiction for so many, 
Right now in Jesus' name, Father, I bind the spirits of whoredoms, lust, perversion, and pornography especially. You spirits of voyeurism, your spirits of pornography, lust of the eyes, we bind you. Break your power. Tear down your strongholds off of us. And we rebuke you and command you, go from us in Jesus' name. Lord, I command you, Lord, I command these spirits to go from your people. Go from everyone here today. Loose them, devil. Leave in Jesus' name. We break the stronghold of pornography off of people's lives right now in the name of Jesus. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes. We break it off in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Father, again, I pray, Lord, for the root causes, the root causes, Lord, that you begin to heal and deliver from the root causes, whether it was sexual abuse, sexual promiscuity, even as teenagers, was it whether it was finding pornography at a too early of an age and it got rooted in there because we're not supposed to awaken those things before we're adults. It's just not supposed to be happening to children. So, Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus for your healing and your deliverance to flow in these areas. And there's one more. Uh, the Lord just... Spoke to me anger, rage. Let's deal with that right now. And you know, this is for some people in here. You know who you are. The moment I said it, it was like, oh, that's me. That's what I struggle with. You know what? Yes, the flesh does those things, but there's spirits of anger and rage. I've seen them in people like that young man I talked about. Let's pray over that right now, and then we'll... We'll start our other, our other prayer time, but just pray this with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just come to you, Lord. And in Jesus' name, I ask you to forgive me for my sins of anger, rage, wrath. Right now, in Jesus' name, I bind the spirits of anger. I bind the spirits of wrath. I bind the spirits of rage. I bind these demons in me. I break their power in Jesus' name. I tear down their strongholds out of me, spirit, soul, and body. And I command these demons to go from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus. Anger go. Rage go. Wrath go. Spirits of these go from me now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Let me tell you something. You see how I'm praying here? This is how I pray for people. This is how I pray for myself when I'm getting attacked. You have to do this. I remember Gordon Lindsay, the founder of Christ for the Nations, used to say, you need one good violent prayer every day. You got to get violent. You got to get vicious. I've been, I've, I've prayed for so many people sometimes and going to prisons and stuff and doing deliverance. I couldn't talk when I left. You hear, it's starting to get a little that way, but it's worth it. Raise the voice. Raise your authority. Mean business. It is a fight. And you're to put some fight into it, and it will change. 